Captain Joel Pytech, Jan's Netcraft Pro Staffer here. I'm talking about my best practices for walleye jigging. And my go-to bait, hands down, the Pro Eye Jig that we designed last year. Exclusive at Jan's Netcraft. Great head design to make that bait swim, give it a little bit more action. Teamed up with the Eagle Claw, little nasty hook. Great combo, good hook penetration, great action on that bait. When I team it up, my go-to is a minnow bait, like a four inch finesse in this particular case. But what I do is I, I manipulate that bait a little bit. I actually bite a little bit off on that head. And the reason that I do that is because it gives a little curvature to that body shape so I can match it up really neatly to my jig head. Now I'm gonna tell you, one of the things I pay real, real close attention to threading that plastic onto the jig head. And the reason that I do that is because I want it all nicely straight online. That's gonna give you a much better presentation when you're jigging in fast current situations. If it's not in line, start it again. That particular case right there, that's not how I want it. You have your jig hooked up like that with plastic on there, what that's gonna be doing is doing spins down there in the bottom and you're not gonna get bit as often. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead really, really easily, go ahead and throw it, thread it right back on there again. And in this particular case, I'm gonna switch hands because I'm a little bit better with my right hand. And when I thread that in, I wanna make sure that that back is, that hook is directly through the back of that bait, right down the center, match it up, make sure it sits real nice. That's what I want. Ideal position for my plastic on my jig head to top that off, to make sure that I don't miss any short bites. I'm gonna team that up with a stinger hook. And I put that stinger hook on there. What I want my stinger hook length to be is right about at the end of that tail. You see that? That walleye comes up and nips that tail or short bites, I got them on that stinger hook. And I free float it. I never stick my stinger hook into my plastic. I want that bait to move as properly as possible, as true as possible, just like a well-tuned crankbait. And again, straight up and down, once I check it, I wanna make sure everything's all nice and straight, just like that. And so once I make sure that's all straight, I'll clip it up onto my line or tie it, really doesn't matter, and I'll drop it in the water. And I'll actually jig it a couple of times to make sure that again, I'm straight up and down the whole time. I want that bait to swim straight up and down. Again, I'm gonna tell you a little key component to that. If that bait is plastic, if that plastic on that hook is curved just a little bit, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get this looping action in your jig, and it's not gonna be conducive for a good presentation of that fish, but also too, I'm gonna tell you, you're not gonna get good hook setups too. So keep those in mind. I'm Captain Joel Pytech, and you can get all your walleye jigging equipment and tackle here at jansnetcraft.com.